Okay, so back to Sea of Stars. What happened most recently is that we did side quests. By we, I mean me. I did side quests for like three hours and just knocked out all of the conches. Most of the areas are 100% clear, but not all of them. Some of them are not 100% clear. So there are still some like treasure chests that we need to get. Um, if we go into the map here, we can check this out. Ping the parrot. Yeah, I think all of the islands just say wings champion left, or wheels champion left. <laughs> wings, because bird. Get it? Parrot. All right, I uh, need to progress further for this one, weirdly. Okay, that island, all clear. This island, all clear. This island, wheels champ. That's it. Oh, treasure left in brisk, too. Oh, that's another thing we need to do. It's not just the wheels champ, but we also need to do the quiz master. So let's do that. Let's do Quizmaster because I think that'll be a, kind of a fun way to start the day. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the quiz show with our contestant, Valir. Question pack number one. We only have a silver on that. So let's go expert mode. Without any equipment, how much MP is recovered from a regular attack? Chat, what do you guys think? I think it's three. We're, we're going to go three. All right, next question. What is the name of Zenith Academy's training golem? I think it was weird with a Y. All right, next question. You're facing an enemy with two blunt locks and two sword locks. Which combo move can get you out of this situation? That is a solstice strike. Um... I might phone a friend, chat. I might phone a friend at some point here when I'm not super confident. What is the name of the spiritual being found at the top of Mountain Trail? Elder Mist. That is Elder Mist. That answer is correct. All right, next question. Without any equipment, how much MP does Zale's Sunball cost? That is eight. I'm going to be no help. My chat messages come through hella slow without Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, no worries, dude. Precisely. All right, next question. When is Belir's, uh, Belir's birthday? It's the winter solstice. Solstice warriors, you know, thing. True or false, boosting regenerates MP. See, this is a trick question because if you do a boost, Oh, you can call Teeks. You can literally phone a friend. I never noticed that. Okay, when you boost, like, that's actually just the act of sucking in the balls, which does not regenerate MP. But attacking while boosted does. But I think they're talking about the boost itself. So I'm going to say false. We actually did this once before, this question pack, and I remember getting that one wrong. On Evermist Island is a secluded village where children of the solstice are delivered. What is the name of that village? It is Moon Cradle. All right, next question. True or false? Rochev's can be found in the Forbidden Cavern. Oh, dude. Rochev's. This is a specific enemy type. And I know for a fact we found them. I'm going to say true. No. Okay, false. <laughs> you fell to pieces. It appears you're out of tries. Yes, I want to play again. Okay, let's go back. Let's do it all. Okay, eight. Next question. To use magic without using magic is to boost. Okay, next question. True or false, boosting regenerates MP. False. All right, next question. These are actually different questions than some of them. That's interesting. Roshevs cannot be found in the Forbidden Cavern. All right, next question. When is Valir's birthday? Winter solstice. All right, all right. You're facing an enemy with two blunt locks, two sword locks. That is Solstice Strike. 
What is the name of the spiritual being? Oh God. Oh no, I was just trying to speed up the, uh, I was just trying to speed up the text. I got uh, impatient. Uh, yes, we want to play again. My impatience kills us again. Boosting does not regenerate MP. Careful, y'all. Careful. Eight. We're just gonna do question pack number one, like, as many times as it takes. To use magic without using magic is to boost. Haste makes waste. Haste makes waste. Without any equipment, how much MP is recovered from a regular attack? That is three. Rochev's. False. What is the name of the spiritual being? Okay. Elder Mist. Would have been fine that time if they didn't mix up all the answers. On Evermist Island is secluded. Village where children of the solstice are delivered. That is Moon Cradle. When is Valir's birthday? Winter solstice. Come on. That's got to be it. Zenith Academy's training golem is weird. With a Y. Next. Oh, I gotta change the uh, the game. Back to the game. You're facing an enemy with two blunt locks. That is gonna be a solstice. A strike. Here's a little something for that impressive performance. Heal Amber Aura. Okay, so you can make some money doing this. Yeah, I wanna play again. Question pack number two, we're going expert. What is the name of the raft the pirate crew used to sail across the shadow shallow mire? I believe it was the Oakham Skiff. All right, that was a while back. Next question. In the Stonemason's Outpost, the Molkin are taking care of the wind tunnels so that they keep on fulfilling which function? Well, they're mining, so I think Mine Teal Amber is the one. Oh, but there's also, it's technically also playing music because they're playing music through the wind tunnels to avoid waking up the sleeping serpent. I think it's play music. I think this is kind of tricky. Okay, that was tricky because they do want to mine as well. All right, next question. Of these enemies, which one is not present in the Moorlands? Okay, Moorlands. I don't remember what a thrower was, but drill bats, I believe, first showed up once we hit the Alchemy Lab. So I don't think we saw a single drill bat until we got to Alchemy Lab. All right, next question. True or false, those traveling by Yeet Ball land on Sleeper Island after being caught by Extol. Land on Sleeper Island. Shit. No, Sleeper Island is the island with Brisk. And Brisk... Brisk... does have Extol. And the Academy Island has Yeet, so that's true. You say it's told to arrive at that island. Of these establishments, which one is not found on Sleeper Island? Oh, uh, what? Uh, my dumb butt was going to say Drillbat was a fake out using Pokemon names. That, That's smart right there. Actually, that is smart. That is smart. The f Oh, the first stage of grief. 
I think that one's in Lucent. I don't remember the Golden Pelican, and I don't remember the Sleepy Mason. Sleepy Mason is probably on Stone Mountain Outpost, so let's go first stage of grief. I don't want to call Teeks yet. <sighs> okay. Woo! Yolanda, Valtrade, and Keenathan are part of a pirate crew led by whom? Captain Cliche. True or false, the Molkin from Stonemason's Outpost are descended from a long line of elemental mages. I want to say yes. Because I think it's... That came up in a Teak story. Should we call Teeks? I think I'm going to call Teeks. Teeks! Oh, this one's easy. True. Okay. There we go. What is the name of the enchanted currency that can control the undead? That would be the coin of undeath accord. Of undead record. That's hilarious. Uh, not it, though. Okay, okay. We gotta be getting close. How many red berries are required to make one portion of berry jam? Thank God they didn't have four in here because I was split between three and four, uh, four and five. It's five. Oh God, are we not done? <clears throat> oh, what name? What name did Malcomood give his pet salamander? It's Rocky with an IE. Oh yeah, baby. Got another teal amber ore. Oh, we have to do a casual version too? We're just gonna go through and do expert for all. Okay, true or false, the first stage of grief was so named. I feel like I should be writing this down in case you get one wrong. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that would be smart, but eh. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to we're gonna do fine. We're going to do fine. The first stage of grief is so named because the people of Lucent like to gather in mindful acceptance of their situation. Uh, no, they're all basically in denial. True or false, Duke Aventry was resurrected from his ashes you, by the necromancer, Romaya. Thank you for the hydrate. Yes, this is true. Ramaya did the resurrecting. How is the tool allowing one to propel themselves to stakes and climbable surfaces called? Uh, it should be a grappling hook, but they call it a grapplo for some reason. All right, next question. When a ghoul ghoul escapes battle, what does it do? Uh, it strikes a pose in a puff of smoke. Yeah. Looks like he's using up chewing gum and gaff tape. Yep. Made it happen one way or another. What is the name of the sorcerer type enemies that can be found in the necromancer's lair? Oh my god. It's... It had Wizquard in it, so it has to be the top one. Mermov... Wizquard. Yeah. Uh, only because I remember specifically being like, why is there a Q in there? In the Cursed Woods, what is the name of the enemy that had to be destroyed to get rid of the vines? Ooh, this is a Teeks. I want to say Bulb. Fine. I don't know. I don't know, chap. Teeks. Teeks. I don't know the answer. Oh, this one's easy. Bulb. Okay, cool. I was hoping we would be done with that one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> when properly timing Garl's nourish, what is the apple replaced by? 
I don't think I've ever properly timed Garl's Nourish. And that's what this just told me. I want to say a sandwich. What do you think, chat? Sandwich? He's too health conscious to choose a sundae. It's either a sandwich or half a sandwich. It might be half a sandwich because it looks better. Because you can see it split. Half? Okay, we're going half. Oh, yes. All right, all right. Nice. Good work, good work, good work. If one were to buy a scrimshod sword, how much gold would they need? Seventy-six? Scrimshod sword, bro. Eighty? All right, hell yeah. Uh, Wraith Island was named after a dweller appeared in the haunted mansion. What is that dweller's name? That was the Dweller of Woe. Got that one. Bro, we should be done. Without any equipment, which of these skills cost cost Sarai 9 MP? That would be Phase Shiv. Oh, boss. Two teal amber ores. All right, yeah, we're gonna play again. Here we go. Almost halfway through, y'all. Whoa, okay, when Garl gave the new town its name. Oh, 80 bits for the 80 scrimshaw sword coins. Thank you, Nate the dog. Thank you for them biddies. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So the overlay is not working for the alerts at all because something should have popped up. I definitely don't have an IGN answer page pulled up. Oh, <laughs> uh, this one's mirth. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that all day. All right, next question. True or false, the previous captain of the Vespertine was named Stormcaller. That is true because Stormcaller was the captain and then the navigators who we're currently working with. Yep. Hortense the Ghost Nap Hortense, yep, that's the name of the navigator, is famous for her skill with which instrument? Ugh. A lute and a guitar and a mandolin are all pretty damn similar. Mmm. I mean, I can see her in my mind playing a guitar type instrument. Nate's mandolin. Cool. I would have gotten loot, so would have totally gotten that one wrong. How many potatoes are required to make one portion of hearty stew? I don't know. I just make it. I want to say three. I don't think it's seven. Seven's too much and one is not enough. There we go. All right. Next question. True or false, Clap Captain Cliche acquired the Vespertine by spending a coin of Undeath Accord. That is false, because they had to spend it prior. Three? Yeah, it was three. All right. Without any equipment, how much MP does Valir's Lunar Shield cost? It's 11. Of the following species, which one cannot be fished on Sleeper Island? A lunar trout. Fuck. Oh, that sucks. That sucks a fat one. Ghost sturgeon? Was the answer? Fuck me. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back and do it again. Yeah, we want to play again. Yeah, that was the mandolin. <laughs> Three potatoes. False. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm playing wheels. How many heroes is each player allowed to? Two, baby. What is the title of Hydralian, the sea monster summoned by the Stormcaller for his ultimate attack? I don't fucking know. What would that be? All right, I'm gonna call Teeks. We get two Teeks. Teekses. Well, this one's easy. Ruler of Tides. Okay, okay. That one is true. Established. Oh, there we go. I did casual? Son of a bitch. Ugh. Next. That is mandolin. How many potatoes? Three. Is mirth. The mirth of the earth, baby. Ruler? Oh, ruler of tides, yeah. Okay, go sturgeon. So dumb. So dumb. Go sturgeon is uh both a really good pun, and it seems like it should be the fucking answer. Like you should be able to find those there. Because they're ghost fucking fish. They're ghost fish, chat. How many equipment? Uh, how much MP? It's 11. 11, 11, 11. Precisely. What? What is the name of the spirit who inhabits the crypt? The crypt walker, crypt talker, or crypt maker? I want to say crypt walker. All right, I'm gonna use Teeks, just cause it's fun. Crypt Walker, okay, yep. Boom. So now it's like I have two Teekses. What is the title of Hydralian? Yeah, okay, Ruler of Tides, uh-huh. False. True. Ooh, obsidian ore. Fuck yeah. All right. Earth Walker. That delay kills. Play again? Yes. Expert status. In a legendary feat of acrobatics, Sarai was able to bring the light from the eclipse into the depths of Torment Peak. What caused the eclipse in the first place? Okay, Torment Peak, it was the Solstice Amulet. Okay. In exchange for his help, Rashan asked Valir and Zael to retrieve something for him. What was this something? It was the Vial of Time. Who built the giant statue that gave Watcher Island its name? Bro, I don't know. Cheeks! I think it was the... I don't think it was the Dakari. I don't think they built statues. The Fleshmancer. Jesus. Did he? Dude, the Fleshmancer did all, all kinds of things. Man. True or false? Without any equipment, Sarai's Venom, Flurry, and Valir's Moonerang have the same MP cost. That's true. What? Oh no, it's because I used the equipment. Mm. I have an item that decreases Sarai's cost by one. I've gotten super used to that being the, uh, like, they both use six. Okay. Solstice Amulet. Rip, indeed. Without any equipment, Sarai's Venom. Yeah, false. Seven and six. Not six and six, you fucking noobs. <laughs> Who built the giant statue that gave Watcher Island its name? Ah, uh, Fleshmancer. 
Next question. Which of these enemies does appear in the jungle path? Fuck, I think it was one and three who attack on the jungle path. Shrimp Knight. I'm trying to remember the Shrimp Knight. I think it's the Propra. Yeah, Propra, there it is. All right, next question. True or false, the Oracle of Tide's duty is to control the flow of water throughout the world. False. It's to deliver fucking Oracle prophecies, man. In Takari Village, <coughs> what is the little girl collecting in exchange for items? Yeah. We know that one, chat. We know that one. What is the name of the big frog enemy with a throwing star on its back? That. I want to say a throwed, but also, I don't know. A Garnoui. Garnoui. Okay. Sick. I don't remember fighting that at all. I'm sure I did many times. When undergoing the welcoming ritual to visit Dakari Village, where must one go to bathe their seashell? The Sacred Grove. Torment Peak was visited long ago by another generation of Solstice Warriors. What did they do as they left? They sealed it for sure, but once or twice? I want to say once, but I will also say, chat, what's up? Is it once or twice? Twice. Huh, wonder what the story is there. In exchange for his help, Rashan asked Valir and Zael to retreat. Oh yeah, that's the Vial of Time. We're just playing for Obsidian Horse at this point. What is the name of Rashan's <coughs> healing potion? Petricor. All right, next question. One of the following skills, which is the... Of the following skills, which is the one that can cause enemy displacement? Abance. What is the name of the relic that increases the party's max HP? I have that, but it was just like a matter of guessing. True or false, of the three sisters, Yomara is the evil one. That is false, it's Romaya. Complete the following. When the moon shines bright on autumn sheaves, comes forth the abomination of... Oof. I want to say roots and leaves. I think it's roots and leaves, right, chat? Hook it up. Yeah. True or false, Glacial Peak is on Mesa Island. That is true. Of the following names, which one is not one of Kale's friends? I want to say it's Toe. Because Spring and Hammer just both seem like, you know, mechanical equipment. Okay. Hey, Billy. Hey, Billy. Hey. Really? I would have gotten that one wrong. Ugh. All right, next question. If presented with a lock sequence of poison, sword, sword, and arcane, which pair could remove them all by each performing a potentially boosted regular attack? Poison, sword, sword, arcane.
for Sean and Zale. Because he could do the poison and arcane, and then uh, Zale could just do two swords. Bless you, thank you. Bless you, child. When playing wheels, how much energy is generated by matching five squares? Okay. So energy, you get one for three, two for four, three for five. Of the following species, which one cannot be fished on Mesa Island? Dude. Lunar Trout. I knew I'd get Lunar Trout right at some point. Well, you are good. Here's a little something for that impressive performance. Warp City and Oars. Yes. Here we go. Of these ingredients, which one is not part of the recipe to make a parfait? For sure milk. I'm pretty sure peach because parfait's a higher level. So I'll say red berry. Well. I'm glad we got out on question number one. What is the name of the hot res cuisine restaurant found in the port town of Brisk? Well, that's got to be the Golden Pelican. Okay, because we figured out that the Golden Pelican was on that island. Who taught Zale to use the combat skill Dash Strike? That was Duke Aventry. Do or false? The Cloud Kingdom is ruled by a king and a queen. That's false. It's a council. I mean, they probably get down together. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so it's either... Is milk not part of Parfait? Fuck me. Peach. Okay, well, process of elimination on that one. No, I wanted to do the other one. Okay, well, whatever. What was the name of the lava monster guarding what is now known as Kiln Mountain? I think it's Vulcanode. Fuck. 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 What is the name of the hut? Well, yeah, 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 it's the Golden Pelican. It's Golden fucking Pelican. Got it. Is what it is. What name did Garl give the Sky Serpent, formerly known as the Sleeper, Wentworth? Weirdly. Now's the Duke. Cloud Kingdom. Nope, that's false. When zipping down, the mic sounded awful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Excluding Punty and the Council, how many sky... Sky Giants are there in the Cloud Kingdom? Well, there's one in the inn. There's one outside of the inn. There's one at the weapons shop. There's one that you have to walk under. And there's probably one more I'm not thinking of. Five? Five. Hell yeah. Our next question. True or false? The only two enemies present in the air elemental Skyland are the Sling Rabbit and the Braidzerd. That just seems like an obvious false, because there would be a third enemy type. But I can't imagine what it was. It's false, right? It's true? Son of a bitch. Another obsidian ore. Oh, it's because we did casual mode. Bunch of noobs. Okay, let's see if we can just 
fly through this one. The Duke. To gain 10% bonus damage versus undead targets, which of these trinkets should one equip? That is the Shimmering Shard. Fucking Peach. God damn it. False. Toad Kano. We learned that together. That'd be Wentworth. How is Big Buggy's special attack called? I don't remember who the fuck Big Buggy is. Who's that? Who the fuck? Tectonics. I thought Tectonics was... Toad Kano. Okay, five. Weirdly true. Braid Zerd, aka the Anal Feed Zerd. Armed Artist, Ayo! How are you doing? I nice seen ya. A little something something. I'll take it. Yeah, we're gonna play again. We're knocking out the uh the quiz master. The monstrosity found in the Fleshmancer's workshop had more than four tentacles. Monstrosity found in the Fleshmancer's workshop. Is that the big head thing? The weird looking head? False? Good. False. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Nate's base, your Teeks is assistant, all right? Your Teeks is assistant. Play was fantastic, dude. I mean, I've seen it four times now. So I've, <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning all about that play. But yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Also, Jazzo appreciates you asking. I'm sure she's listening in. Um, True or false? Sarai's computer companion is named Cedric. I don't think it's Cedric. I think it starts with a C. Fuck, I think it does start with a C. I'm going to use it's false because it's C low green. It's not right. I don't fucking know. I don't remember. All right, next question. How many units of fish are required to make one portion of sashimi? Dude, it's a lot. I want to say it's nine. I'm gonna call antiques. Well, this one's easy. Nine. All right, thanks, Teeks. Next question. What is the name of Sarai and Rashan's combo attack? Sarai, Rashan, it's not Arcane Barrage. Oh, let's see. Maybe it, no, I think it's Arcane Flurry. Teeks' is assistant, it is Barrage? I thought Arcane Barrage was Valir and Rashad. I wonder what one that is. In our homeworld, which entity is in charge of granting access to the Sea of Stars? The Sky Giants Council. Of the following species, which one cannot be fished on Cerulean Island? Ugh. Deeks. The shrimp, it's the rock shrimp? Okay. That's the one I would have guessed because it's all like sci-fi fish with like lasers and shit attached to them. Uh, what is Sarai's village called? Rapine. Spent a lot of time running around there trying to find a stupid rainbow conch. Thank you very much. 
Which of the following skills, of the following skills, which one costs the least amount of MP? Disorient is seven, Lunar Shield is 11, Warble is... No, Disorient is eight. I think it's Warble. It's Disorient? Aren't they both eight? Maybe Warble is nine. Which of these enemies does not appear in the Derelict Factory? It's the Ronin Cowboy. Because the other two, like, I remember the horses every time. There was always the weird horse. Who invented the famous board game wheels? That would be the Watchmaker. Our whole goal today, basically, is to do all the wheels things to get to the watchmaker one more time oh, wait hey uh nate can you tell how many question packs there are total is it eight or there are we missing some i'll just finish these up off stream by the way since we already did all of them we had them all but we might not 11 well part in my soup and call me Fred all right Wanna play some wheels you damn right champion game let's go <clears throat> All right, so you're using a rogue and wizard, huh? Still just got wizard, knight. Knight and wizard just been kind of like my go-to. I like keeping the pressure on with the knight. So let's just do the classic, classic setup here. Their wizard is super dangerous. Does anybody not know how to play wheel, play wheels or like are if anybody's here to learn how to play wheels like speak up say something and I'll explain what I'm doing but otherwise I'm just going to go through it. We'll we'll just kind of go. Thick. Do you want to know? It's not like Hearthstone. No, it's more like a slot machine combined Hydrate, with you uh, Thank you. Thank you. I do need to hydrate. Now they did a really good job of like making a unique game. Okay, so wheels. What wheels is, it's a game where your goal, you see like in the, in the middle there, you've got like a little crown with a number in it, 10 on the top and the bottom. I'm bottom obviously, the enemy's top. We both got a warrior, like uh, two warriors. I've got one here. And then on the other side, notice this thing is orange, right? And it has a square on it. That matches up with the squares you see on the wheel right here in the slot machine. And then we've got the diamonds that match up with the same thing over there for my other hero on the other side, way over there. Cool. So, and then we also have this little wall thing in the middle, right? See the little wall that kind of poked up out of the ground? Those are all the pieces. We have the moving pieces. Note that this has like a little plunger thing, right? Well, as I get squares, at least three of them, that little plunger will go down. Once it reaches level with the table surface, then that character gets to do an attack. And their attack is three and three walls. So it takes down three walls or does three damage. One or the other. Okay, so how does the game actually play? We can level up our characters. We can use our characters to actually make attacks, which we will do in this one. And we do that by using this weird little slot machine thing. I can choose the uh, the column to freeze. So I'm going to freeze and lock this one in place. 
I'm going to lock this one in place, and I'm going to lock this one in place. Those match up with the squares. So we've got four total squares, right, that I have locked in. And that means that this is going to go down two because the minimum in order to make that plunger go down a level is three. So three squares is one down, four squares is two down, five squares is three down. Tracking. Uh, it is not a real board game. It's just a game that they made in to uh, this game. I don't know what game started that, like having like little mini games within the RPG. Um, maybe Final Fantasy VIII, I want to say. Yeah, but it's sick, dude. It's this. It's actually like a fun game. This is legitimately a fun game. I did not know how the hell it worked at first, but after I got it, I was like, oh, cool. This is awesome. So, um, the knight that is behind my head right now, uh, his attack just does a straight up attack of either knocking down the wall or attacking the enemy's HP. He's really strong, so he can knock down a lot of wall and he can take down a lot of HP. But if there's even one wall, he will only attack wall. There's no like carryover. So if he does three damage, he'll take out one to three levels of wall and that's it. Um, okay, anyway, back to what we're actually choosing here. So. I've got one level of wall. I don't know what their rogue does. Like it has like a little icon there with like a little fucking square with a squiggly line through it. I have no idea what that does. It can't be good. It's gonna be bad for me. Uh, and then the wizard does two attacks. It does one attack at the wall and one attack over the wall. So the wizard is actually solid. Uh, oh, last thing, these little, uh, sparkles behind this uh, very rightmost double square deal that I have, those also give XP. So that means I get two XP for my uh, for my knight. And those are those little like lit up spots right here. So that one's lit up. If we light up all of these, then that means uh, we level up that character and they start doing more damage. So these numbers down here will go up. That's the game. Okay, so we get three spins. I have two more spins left. You can see that uh, via the little lights next to the, like a fucking pinball machine thing on the far right. Uh, yeah, so we lock in what we wanna lock in. We're gonna go as much squares as possible this round. Hopefully the enemy does not uh, get a wall up because if they don't, we'll be able to do a lot of damage to them. Nice, okay, that's six. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, dan or five uh, of those, so that's, Three plungers, I think one, two, three. I think that's gonna be enough to attack. Let's spin one more if we get, oh, that's awesome. Cool, so he gets to attack too. He stopped me from attacking. Okay, so that's what the rogue's ability does, is he went on the same turn as me and he actually stopped my knight from attacking. And that kind of sucks. But it's okay, we still got a bunch of XP there and we will get to attack this round. So one, two, three. We only need to take the plunger down one level. That's it. Um, I'm also gonna lock in this one so that we can get an XP for our wizard. I would love to get some uh, plunger movement on the wizard too. So hopefully this last spin, we get a diamond. Yes, sweet. Ah, he got a wall. And he stopped me from attacking again. I didn't quite put together how he stopped the attack. It was kind of a, happened too fast for me, man. All right, we're about to level up. Hmm. See, he had walls. So even though, though I do five damage now, with my new upgraded dude. Since he had a wall, I still didn't do anything to his actual damage pool. 
Whereas his rogue has just been smoking me. Um. Dick. So if we could get more diamonds in play, that would be fantastic. Boom, there we go. Give me a diamond. Ah, oh, that works. This is kind of a tough round, guys. I'm not going to lie. All right, so that's one, two, three. I'm going to lock that in. Okay, so the reason I, I locked in and then just kept spinning with diamonds is that I know that I only need one more set of three to bring my, uh, to like make the mage go and take their action. And any additional does not help me. Like any additional uh, action that I take that round doesn't carry over. It's just, it goes away. It's just done. It's finished. So I would rather get more squares. That's all right. We level up and we get to attack. Boom. So that's two attacks. He got to do the same thing to me though. Technically, I'm winning right now, but only just barely because their rogue is going to get to go and he'll probably interrupt my uh, my knight again. Okay, if I get three hammers, it means I bring my wall up by at least one. I'm not worried about that. Okay, XP is good. I kind of don't want my wizard to go because I have a feeling this next turn his rogue is going to go. Oh, I don't know if this is going to help me at all. I kind of don't think it will. All right, we'll we'll just get some wall up just uh just for shits. I don't want my wizard to go. I want to wait for his rogue to go since his rogue like interrupts. Yeah, he poisoned my wizard. Okay, so the wizard, the poison that he did actually made it so I just need to get more action points in order for my wizard to go. Cool. Now I understand how that works. Uh, sick. One, two, three, five. Really love to get some diamonds over here. Come on, baby. Give me diamond. Give me diamond. Give me diamond. Yes. And I win. That was a win. That was a win right there. Hell yeah. Hot dupes. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the lurk, yo. Hope you're having a good day. Hey, you won. Congratulations. Here's your prize. Got an engineer figurine. Oh, that's a... So that's a new... Like, thing that I can use in these battles. In these wheels games. A new hero, a new figurine. I tend to fidget a lot when I stand, so that'll be good for me. I'm gonna play some wheels, damn right. Champion game. I'm going ranked. Oh, you wanna play an engineer? Two can play that game, sir. We're gonna go engineer wizard. Oh, they went engineer wizard as well. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. So if you don't know how to play wheels, I already explained it last time. So watch my YouTube video. Not doing it again. Uh, yeah. Let's give me a diamond. 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 All right, all right, whatever, whatever. Ooh, that's pretty good. And yeah, love for a diamond here, please. I'll lock it. Ooh. 
Well, we're, yeah, that's crazy that like me and this computer basically chose the same exact setup. Hmm. Wow, okay, that knocks down a lot of walls. Engineer knocks down a lot of walls, guys. A lot of walls. Um, um but yet, like, the recumbent, like, bicycle wouldn't be too bad. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Where are we at? We're gonna do squares. Ooh. Diamond. Frankly, what I need to do is I just need to get like a. Ooh, this is pretty good. Good XP. Okay, lock that in. What is the gnome do? Okay, so the gnome is an engineer, and he takes down more walls than um than attack. So he's really good for taking down walls. And I figure, and me and the NPC have the same freaking setup um, as far as like wizard versus engineer, like literally the exact same. Um, but yeah, I figure if the engineer can take down the walls, that means the wizard can do a ton of damage if we time it right. Mm. Okay, one, two XP. I'm getting greedy. That's what's happening right now, Chad. I'm getting greedy. Boom. Well. An under the desk of Beardo Cycling Cam. Man, that would actually I'll get I'll get a Paragon Cam before I ever do a cycling cam, promise. That's a promise. Let's get some walls up. I, like, I don't see the point of having more than, like, one level of wall. Really. I guess I'll lock in those two, because these two can have more XP, potentially. One. Whatever. I'll take it. Gonna have to change to 18 plus stream after that. That's right. I don't wear socks, man. That shit's for the Patreon. Patreon probably wouldn't be cool with that. We'll have to do OF. Ooh. Okay, so after you have gold, like technically gold is the highest level you can get for one of your heroes. But if you if you max out the XP bar, you automatically just do two points of damage directly to the enemy's HP, bypassing any of their walls, defenses, etc. So it's not a bad move. Not a bad move. Um, yeah, let's take that. Hopefully we get some more squares or diamonds, either or. I'm about to get smoked by their wizard. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I'll take it. took down their wall. If I can get my wizard to go next round, <clears throat> that will be huge. Shit. Ooh, boy. Like, I really need the wizard to go. Okay. Yeah, give me diamonds. I need diamonds. I really need diamonds, guys. Okay. Yep. Hit it. Hit it.
Okay, that was huge. That was huge. Got him down to two. Ooh, damn. All right. Super Earth Emergency Broadcast. What? Are we needed? Are we needed on the front lines? Ah, balls. Okay. Dude, if we rush squares, I need what? One, two, three at least. Come on, give me two squares. Give me two squares. Two squares. At least one square. Oh, they got a wall up. They got a wall up. Of course they got a wall up. Just in time. Come on. Double diamonds. Oh, give me a double diamond. Give me a double diamond. Okay, probably for the best. That's fine. Shit. If they get any diamonds, I'm boned. But if I get at least one XP for my gold guy, we can tie it up. Oh my god. One, two. Three, four. Give me one XP. Okay, I think we tie. I think we tie is what happens here. Never mind. I win. I thought they were going to get their wizard to go for sure. If they had gone with their wizard, that would have been a tie. We got the gold wheel. I don't know what the wheels do. I have no idea. Squid Master, thank you, thank you. April Fool's Day. Hey, villager. It is done. It is done. I see. Well, these rules are simple enough. I'll just take a few moments to analyze all the patterns. Okay. I'm a champion now. Want to try me? Yeah, bro. I'm a champion now. Knight and archer. We're going to go engineer and wizard again, because I think it's a really good combo. Yeah, let's get that XP rolling in. We can get one movement. Hopefully we get a double something. I'll take it. Whoa, 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 whoa. They have a triple diamond? What? Do I have to... Do I have to equip my new wheel? I am the captain now. Yeah. This guy came in real confident. Okay. One, two, three... All right, that gets me one attack. And that's all I need. All right. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, he builds a wall. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Yeah, immediately started cheating. Like, I have upgraded wheels for my wheels kit, but I thought that I just upgraded them automatically, but I have not seen a triple XP at all. Going for patrol, good luck, have fun. Do, you, do I wish you to have fun on your patrol? Because that means that something fucked up would probably happen. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, XPs. Oh, I was afraid that would happen. 
Ugh. Yep, I'm getting attacked. Dang. Yep, I got it. Okay, so we need walls. We need walls for this round. This round is a walls round. Come on, give me some hammers. Oh. Okay, that's perfect. That's actually perfect. Boom, level up. You level up too. I get a little wall. Those triple diamonds, though. Yo. I'm at a disadvantage. I'll be lucky to win this round. Okay, one, two, three, four. This is going to be a wombo combo if I get it off, though. Tell you what. They just got so many walls. Okay. Yeah. Probably should have just kept those diamonds, honestly. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Here we go, chat. So. Yeah, I'd love to get at least one more square. Hang on. So if I do this, lock that one in. Still guaranteed three, and I have more chances to get my square. Come on. Oh well. Oh well. Super close. I don't know why they got to bypass my wall right there. Man, I'm getting my ass kicked. Hmm. Son of a bitch. That might have cost me the game. They have so many triple spots. They have so many triple spots. Okay. Shit. Okay, one, two. Yo, I really need diamonds, guys. Arr, come on. Oh, I'm done. That's it. Oh, so close, though. There's my wall. Damn, 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 damn. Defeat. Second defeat ever. First one was when I was still learning the game. Ha! I win. Okay. Ha! I win. But. Yo, how do I. Level three wheel. Do I get to choose that? Yeah, I want to play champion. Browse heroes. My wheel is still the same old crappy wheel, though, guys. Hmm. I wonder how I changed that wheel. 
Come on, give me some diamonds. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Close one. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just got to play better. If I'm going to be playing with a disadvantage. Already? Already with the attack? Is that how it's going to be? Cool. Well, we need to be on top of getting our, uh, our walls up. Just one level. That's all we need. Just one level every round. Okay, or we could go all in, just get a massive wall, but the massive walls get taken down pretty easy. Yeah. Okay, when I said I wanted to build my walls, I wasn't that serious, guys. Damn. Hit it. I think I get an attack. Yep. Wizard's huge because they can bypass the wall. But you really got to get them leveled up to do anything useful. Holy walls? Yeah. Okay. Our knight's going to get to go. Come on, give me a wall. Fine. We'll just go all in on attack. Shot is what it is. At least it was lowest level. Um, how many do I need? I need one, two, three. in time too right in time man i almost had a good attack right there for five that would have been huge okay i need a wall come on hammers okay i only need one level of wall though take the xp well that's two xp we get to gold Okay, we've got Gold Knight. So do they. Oh! Heart attack. Okay, that's one, two. That's two, that's three. I think that's exactly what I need. to get my knight to do an attack. They're probably going to get a wall up because that's what they do. Well, they didn't. Yeah, I get seven attack right here. That took, oh, that took them down to one. Okay, guys, all I need to do is make sure that I have wall. I think this is going to be a tie. I need two XP. I need two XP for my knight. There's one. Come on, give me one more. Nope. Lost. Lost. Okay, let's, I'm gonna Google this real quick. How to use Sea of Stars. How to use wheels. How to change wheels, here we go.
Okay, happens automatically. So we have an upgraded wheel, apparently. It just changes the very last slot, is what it says. Archer's kind of OP. Yeah, yeah. Weirdly, when I use the archer, like, you notice how, like, it's bypassing the wall every single time? When I was using the archer, it would bypass the wall 50% of the time. Like, 50%, it would hit the wall, and then 50% it would bypass. So I don't know why they're getting 100% bypass rating on me. It doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Okay. Engineers seems good. Wizard seems good, but their attacks just don't happen off enough. I'm going to go Engineer Knight, and then we're just going to... We're just going to play the walls game. Great. That's good. That's a good start. Mm -hmm. Because every time the engineer goes, instead of like attacking walls, they actually build our wall. So that'll protect us from the knight. And ideally the archer is just the only one doing any, any real damage. Okay, so that's two XP for the engineer, one XP for the knight. Sick. Say goodbye to your wall. We get a level up. Boom. Look at that. One, two, three. I could take this or I could go for a diamond. I'm going to go for a diamond because we have two more. Oof. The XP does not carry over, though. So three XP is all I can get. Hundred percent. If the wall is too low, it bypasses it. But the wall has a certain height, it hits the wall instead. Squidmaster, I think that's it. Because there has to be a method to the madness. It's not random. Okay, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. And that's probably what the wall indicator means over here. On their archer, that two. I bet that means that I need a wall of at least two height. Okay, now we got a strat. Now we've got a strat. Fuck, that one sucked. Okay. got a strategy now. That's sick. Wait, he needs to go to... Right, that should be good enough. Fine. What a waste. and that's fine. Yeah. Or they can pass while of too high because they're silver. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. I think you're exactly right. Yep. Okay. Let's get our walls built up. We'll take the double square. Release the double square there. Hopefully get a diamond. Hell yes. That gets us gold, but they have no wall. Get wrecked. Okay, so now we just build walls and go for diamonds. We can take the 2 XP here just to get the engineer to level... Yeah, just to get the engineer to level gold. Gold level. Dude, 
Dude, you got it. You 100% got it. That is that is exactly how that works. Okay, we'll hit... Again, hitting diamonds and wall strats. That's the goal here. Bypass three. Dick, we win. Yep. Wait, I thought I got... Three SP. There we go. There we go. That was it. Let's keep walling and slowly getting speed. Yeah, yeah. Once you get the max XP bar, you release that bomb. So that's it was perfect. Bypass their wall, so it didn't matter for them. We can do the priest. Happy to play champion, but you got a reward for me already. Nah. Nah. Yo, wanna play wheels? Damn right I do. Okay, who are we fighting? We've got Engineer and Knight. That's the same combo I just did. So if I remember that other ability, so the heal is obviously a heal of one, and then the other ability is a... Uh, an interrupt or a delay for the enemy player. So any enemy player who goes that round gets uh, delayed as well. It seems like it would be a really annoying combo to fight. I think we'll go wizard. Squishy team. Squishy, squishy. Alright, so that's, that's off to a good start. Go some more diamonds, please. All right, we need to get a wall up. Must, must, must. Okay, give me a diamond. Give me a diamond. Yep, I knew they were going to get to attack with that knight. That was that noise. Oh, because he leveled up. I get it. Give me a square. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I know their team's going to be really good at building walls. Look at that. We're just going to have walls for days. Really hoping they wouldn't get a wall this turn, because I could have done four damage with my wizard. It's all right. our wall. Little XP for the priest. If we can get at least one more square, we'll get the priest to go this turn. And that could potentially be an interrupt. gave our oh it gave our partner another action oh my god that's huge oh that's huge we've got to upgrade our priest
Deck. So yeah, every time the priest goes, it makes it so your other character goes. And since the wizard is so powerful, it means we get a lot more wizard action. We almost don't need to go for diamonds, except for XP. Boom. Priest goes, heals me, makes the wizard go. Wizard takes down the wall, boom, and attacks directly to help, boom. That's a good combo, guys. That's a good-ass combo right there. Ooh, that's solid. Yeah, we'll just get that XP for the wizard. Well, that's perfect. That gets me to gold for the priest. Hell yes. Can't forget to get the... The walls, though. We still gotta get walls. Do I need to get a wall right now? Yeah. I don't know if that's gonna help you, but we'll do it. more squares. Squares, please. Yes. No problem. No problem. Dude, this is a good combo, chat. This is a really good combo. Priest and wizard is the way to go. Hell yeah. Okay. We might have just won it right there. Heals me for two, gets me to 12. Wizard gets to go, takes down the wall, gets second attack, boom. Wizard is special. Wizard actually gets two attacks. So they have like the highest amount of actions that they need in order to attack. But when they get to go, they get two fireballs. So fireball one goes at the wall, fireball two automatically goes over the wall. Yeah, I might just hang on to that, actually. Sweet, we got a diamond wheel. In. In, 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 There it is. Yeah, we're playing champion game of wheels, my friend. Okay, we're going Priest Wizard again. Priest Wizard was OP as hell. Rogue Priest. Shit, that's gonna be pretty good too, honestly. All good though. Priest Wizard is that's the combo. That's the combo for me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So round one, round one, round one. Let's see walls. I don't. I don't think walls are gonna matter a ton. I'm gonna put up a couple just because I still don't firmly understand how the road works. Yeah, I guess we'll do big walls. Got the biggest walls of them all. A little bonus diamond. Dude. I got a triple diamond. I still do not own a triple diamond. A dual. Come on, give me another diamond. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Hey, guys. Bam. Bam. Ooh. That was good. Oh, big squares too. Okay, so yeah, we'll take the double there. Take that. Oh, I just want to see if I can get a double square. Give me a double square. Oh no, my hubris. Oh, my hubris. It hurts so good. Fuck. 
Well. That was a straight up attack. All right. We need our priest to go. Don't worry about the walls at all. Yeah, walls are going to do nothing for me. Okay, let's just see what happens here. Dude, we are getting levels, though. We are getting fucking levels with the wizard. Shit. All right, man, they already hit gold, though. That's huge. Good for them. I'll take that. That gets me to gold. Come on, more squares, more squares, more squares. Yeah, wizard gets to go, guys. You're in trouble now. Three damage. Sick. We've got to get my priest to go, though, at least once. Come on. Dude, I'm just not getting squares. Unlucky. Yep. Ooh, this does not bode well for me. Squares, guys! Come the fuck on! Let's go! Super boned on the squares. Like, I need them. I Like, I literally need them in order to survive here. And I probably won't because they're going to get the rogue to go, and that is going to screw me over. Come on. Square, square, square. For real? Okay, well, that's a bomb at least. That's a heal. Oof. Dude, good thing I got a heal on that round. Holy shit. If they get three XP, though, I'm done. Because I need squares, game. I need squares. What the fuck? Come on. I need another. Yep, done. Because I can't get squares to save my life. Ugh. Bye. Don't. I went. Was that a casual game? Did I just pick the casual game? Hey, bro. I don't want to quit the whole game. I want to quit this game. Because I don't think I hit champion. I still think this is the combo. Well, they switched it up. Suddenly, I need walls. Okay. Hate the dog. Five foot tall pallet of emergency water. Okay. Well, welcome back. You got a little workout in, it sounds like. Give me squares, y'all. Okay, if you don't give me a square on the left, though, I'm going to freak out. Cool. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I think my board might just be diamond heavy. I think that's what's going on. Like, I've just got, like, a heavy diamond board. Okay. And that's, that's the choice. Oh, I hate their rogues so much. Screw you, buddy. Uh-huh. Delay my action. Give me squares. Give me squares. I'll take one, I guess. Look at that, they're insane. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Squares. Wait, one, two. XP. 
XP? Alright, that works. Whatever. Text you pick. Took three guys to move on a pallet jack. Fuck you, man. That rogue can suck my balls. God damn, dude. That's like a bug in for a week. Pallid water right there. Mm -hmm. Give me another diamond, man. All right, that works. I'll take it. Deal. Right. Yeah. Okay. Their asshole rogue is going to get to go again this turn. Alright, at least it poisoned the priest. Because I can't get squares anyway. Squares! Fuck! What the fuck? You see this? You see this bullshit? No squares. Again. Fine. We'll go diamonds. Okay, try not to be salty about that. Yep. Hit it. Hit it again. There it is. Okay, bombs are going to be a big part of the play now. Squares, though, for real. It's what we need, y'all. Uh -huh. There it is. Yep. Yep. All right, we need wall. Wall and square. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky. I'll take it. The rogue is going to screw me over, but that's fine. Yep, poison. Ha 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 ha. don't win it, but we come real close. Real close. All right, if we can get a bomb. So if we can get two XP. Honestly, if we can get two bombs, that would be the best. Okay, I think this, is, this does it. I think this wins. I think we win with this. Yep. Yep. That was it. Still fighting Futuristic, you guy? No, we won that one. We're fighting the dude in uh, Murph. So our hometown. I won 10 gold? Oh, that's because I did a casual game. Damn it. Hit the buttons too fast again. That whole haste makes waste garbage. Okay. Oh man. Their combo is better. So the rogue priest is pretty tough to beat. 
especially, especially if the game's like, dude, you don't get to actually get squares, which is what it did last time. Walls don't matter at all. Square. Look at how much better their wheel is than mine. All the, like, triples and doubles and everything, it's ridiculous. Come on. Single square, worthless to me. Worthless. Already? You already get an attack? Two? Two attacks? See, this is what I'm talking about, chat. Rigged. All right, well, that's something. Tied. They got that momentum, though. That momentum is big and scary. Give me the XP. Give me the XP square. Fine. I hate the rogues so much. Finally got the squares, and then what happens? That happens. Squares, come on. Lock it. One more square, guys. One more. Lock me. All right. One more diamond. Yes. I think that guarantees an attack. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Tied it up again. Oh, nice. And the priest went after the wizard's attack. My priest went after my wizard's attack. That was huge because it brought down the plunger however many levels. Two levels? That's actually amazing. Don't care about walls. That is useful to me. Yes, let's go. Our fucking rogue gets to go again. You son of a bitch. Fuck you. Hate you so much. Get the squares for the rest, please. Bring the squares. Yes. I needed more than that, but that's what I'll have to settle for, I guess. Okay. Let's go. Squares. Squares. There we go. Rogue doesn't get to go. That's huge. Okay, they get a good heal. Ah, oh, the fucking rogue does get to go. Piece of shit. Because they're priests. squares. Two. I need two. Dredge Master. Yeah, add it to the list. 
Visage Champion as well. Okay, I just need diamonds for the rest. We need a double. I think there's double in here. Yes! I hate the rogue so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rogue gets to go, blah, blah, blah. Uh, twice? Rogue got to go twice. Bullshit. It is, uh, what do I say? The bullshit. Champion game. Let's go. This fucking guy. Alright, so priest and diamond slot. Go archer. We'll at least make them hit the walls pretty hard. Alright, yeah, let's try archer. See? This is what happens. Say, yeah, we're, we're not getting squares. It's only diamonds. Triple diamond? Triple. You get a triple? Triple. <laughs> Go. Another triple diamond. How many triple diamonds do you have available to you? Really? Really? We only need to go two more. I'm gonna give me some squares. Sweet squares. That's something. You fuck. You fucking rogue piece of shit. I hate that rogue so much. Uh huh. Yep. Just give me XP. means the rogue is going to get to go again. Insane. That was a lot to happen. <laughs> Dude, a lot happened right there. Uh, yeah, we'll take just that. Really? Okay. Glad I gambled right there. Yeah, that's right. You better keep going for those walls. You better. I have no reason to go for walls. None. But you've got to spend some of your turn going for them or I'm going to win. NPC? Did I call it though, or did I call it? Like as soon as I threw peace in uh, the priest in the diamond slot, like no priest moves anymore. Okay, that'll get us to gold. Yep. Lucky rogue. Diamonds. Son of a bitch. You 
whittling me down. Before they get their priest to go, I'm kind of done though. Kind of done. Because I'm not going to get any diamonds so that I can go. Come on, come on, give me diamonds, give me diamonds, give me diamonds. Really? You're going to make me single shot this the whole way through? Ooh, all right. Nah, because their rogue's going to get to go. The only way I tie this is if I get squares. And that's not happening. Dude, they're just simply better. Like, simply better decks by an insane amount. Like, look at that shit. Insane. Insane. When they said, like, I got diamond wheels, they were like, <laughs> You fucking idiot. You think you got diamond wheels? This thing's not made of diamonds. It's cubic zirconia. Yeah, I think that was the strat, nonetheless. All right, we're going warrior priest. times. That one was on me. That one was on me. Yeah, you better build up walls. You better. I mostly just want diamonds. Give me a diamond. Double diamond. Thank you. Jesus. Yeah, okay, yeah, and your rogue gets to go. Whoopty shit. Yup. Mm, every time the rogue takes away my turn, man, it just pisses me off. Okay, well, one of my characters is going this round. Yeah, you better get that wall built back up. Give me a double. All right. Yep, good thing they spent I'm building that wall. My god, though, they still managed to get the diamonds. The diamonds. Leveling up is still a priority. Wow. All right. Yep, Rogue gets to go too. Well, Maybe I'm twice. rich. Goodbye, losers whom I've always hated. Straight back is a happy back indeed. <clears throat> the rage curls my spine. Thank you for the bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Throw me a fucking diamond instead of all these bullshit hammers. And then the rogue's gonna get to go, and it's gonna make me rage. I will rage. Uh huh.
This is the bullshit that I get. This is it. Hammers? Literally the most useless thing that I have in this fight. There is no point for hammers. None. They're like, hey, how about how about another hammer for you, man? I bet you're gonna enjoy the hell out of that, right? Build up your walls. Defense is the best offense. <laughs> Suck my. Rage, the rage, man. Okay, I mean, I'll take that. Hammers. Did you want to build another wall? You want another wall? I want another fucking wall, dude. I think I want a wall. Oh my god. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take that. Okay, their priest gets to go, which means their rogue gets to go too. Wow, I actually got to go before the rogue. Amazing. Yes. Yes. That's a win. Finally got the rogue, the assassin. My bad, the assassin. Okay, the priest assassin combo is pretty good. It's pretty good. But I really only think it's good because the computer gets to cheat. Very interesting. In. Interesting. Oi, fancy a game of wheels? Not just any game, a champion's game, Yolanda. All right, who are your heroes? Engineered rogue, huh? Okay, they're gonna be really good at building walls. So we're gonna go wizard. Priest. Take that extra XP and action. There we go. Let's get this wizard buffed up. Two levels of wall. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, look at all that. That is. Oof, that is good. Let's just take it. One, two. Four, five, six. That's going to be three actions. Yep. Good enough for me. There it is. Yeah, I want to get at least one more level of wall just so I can block the archer. and done. Lock it in. Lock it in. Oh, smart move getting your wall up, guys. Smart move getting your wall up. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Dude, getting the priest to go is just so huge. And I'm actually getting diamonds, too. That's kind of a big deal. Come on. Oh, well, just XP, I guess. Blocked. We'll get to level up here soon. That looks good to me. That looks real good. The triple diamond. It's just such a big deal. We got three levels of wall. We'll be able to block the archer. Don't need hammers. Don't need it. Mm, feels good, man. Blocked. Okay, we need to get that wall up again. Okay, give me hammers for the rest, though. All right, well, whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Their wheel sucks compared to the dude in Mirth. The dude in Mirth was just getting, like, triples all fucking day. All day. All day, every day. Um. Yeah, that's all right. Diamond? Yeah, nice. They got their wall up. That was a smart move. Two XP on the square side, and I win the match. Double diamonds, just for fun. No, okay. That was it. That was it. Trump voice. We have... No. Nope, that wasn't it. Yeah, I, I've got to... I've got to get a good Trump voice, man. And frankly, okay. We have the best walls, the best parfaits, the best toad canos, and frankly, the best ultimates. I was talking to Duke Aventry. We're great friends. Even if he's a subpar wheel player. Talking to Duke Aventry, and he was saying, Beard, you have the best walls I've ever seen. There it is. This concludes our daily Trump impression. <laughs> Sick. Platinum wheel. Let's go. Flawless victory. Thank you for recognizing. All right. Now back to uh, the watchmaker. I'm a child. You have work to do, do you? I see you have a platinum wheel on all six heroes, so you like my game? If you want to truly test yourself, I'll make some time. Yeah, champion level. Let's fucking go, watchmaker. What's your combo? Huh? They're fancy. They're fancy. This is like when I went to my buddy's house to go play chess with his daughter, who's five. And she was like, let's play with these pieces. And I was babysitting. 
and they said and he said uh yeah, my dad has a nice chessboard i was like cool like let's play it it was way too nice <laughs> it was way too nice okay so we got priest and knight i could go war of attrition and do engineer priest Um, don't think I'm going to do Wizard Priest. I think it's such a good combination. We're going to stick with it. Anyway, yeah, the pieces were super nice. They were absolutely amazing. Best chess set I've ever seen. It's heavy as hell. Uh, and I said, nah, no, I'm not going to play with this chess set. Sorry, kid. But you're five. My bad. Five and three quarters. And I am clumsy. <laughs> so... Dude, I gotta get a wall up immediately. Give me them hammers. There it is. Come on, a couple diamonds, couple diamonds. Nope. Alright. This is why I got the hammers up. That was it right there. Saw that shit coming. Gotta do it again. Come on, one more hammer. Damn, man. Right after they leveled up, too. Okay. Oh, I have triples now. Look at Mr. Platinum over here with a triple. Damn, they're going to get an attack in, too. I mean, this isn't so bad. I just need to have a wall at all times. That's where my triple lives. Oh. Okay, well, we'll at least get an attack. Come on, give me a double hammer. Bro. There we go. That's what I needed. I needed at least one wall. Thank you. What is this crap? Give me something good. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Tied it up. Wow. I really use diamonds though. If I could. All right. Nope. That's a whole bunch of wall. Okay, there's my diamonds. The XP is huge. That's a huge bit. Okay, they get to heal too. They get to take down the wall. Dude, their pieces look amazing though. Watchmaker pieces look really dope. Yep. Maybe an XP for diamond. I don't know. Or just the same thing. Hit it. Okay. We're going hard on diamonds. Because diamonds are hard. All right, we'll take the one XP right there so we can get a bomb off.
Come on, priest. Let's hit it. Yeah. Okay, they get a priest action too. That's fine. And they just hit gold. Do me five. Oh, all I need is one, dudes. All I need was one. Okay, so we get a bomb. We eat a bomb this round. That's all right. Oof, we might run into a situation where their knight gets to go twice, and I'm just going to be screwed. That'll be terrible. All right. Okay, wizard gets to go. If I choose those. We'll take that just so that I can level up to gold. And we'll take those for the XP. Oh man. I will still only take them down to one though. I don't quite win it. I don't lose this round, I win because of XP and getting a bomb. There it is. Got it, guys. Wheels champs of the world. Two worlds, actually. Think about it. You did it. Well played. Here, you've earned this. I have two flimsy hammers now. No idea what they're for. They'll sing songs about our glory. The bards will remember us throughout the ages. Uh, what we did is we were just looking around for final treasure chests in Brisk and Rapine. I think we have to do things in order to access those. So Brisk, I think we need to get into the Pelican Hotel to get the last treasure in there. And in Rapine, I think we need one more data stick and I've gotten all the treasure everywhere else. So I think the only data stick left that we could possibly grab is going to be in the Fleshmancer's spot. So what we're doing is we are, we're going after the main, main quest here. We've been playing for three hours already. That's insane. Hey YouTube, thanks for being here. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We are Wheels Champions. We're ready to take on the Flesh Mancer in the next one. Thanks again. If you want to see us live, hang out with the lovely people in chat. They're down here talking. They're awesome people. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Beard on Fire. There's also a description below with a link for Twitch in it. If you haven't liked the video, like it. Dislike it if you don't like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.